Hi there, thanks for joining me. Welcome to another video on tea. And tonight we're gonna to talk about detox tea and whether or not it exists. You may have heard about detox teas, you may have heard about diet teas or oolong teas that have some miracle benefit that will change your life. Well, I am here to tell you that there are some realistic things you can do to create a healthy tea ritual or and even create a ritual that will add health benefits to your life. Uh, and there's just seven things you have to do to really find the benefits from tea. Uh, and we're going to talk about those tonight. Now, my name is Dina Cataldo. I am the owner of Sicilian Tea Company. And the whole reason I'm talking to you about this tonight is because I have been there. I have gone through breast cancer. I have done the research to try to find some additional health benefits I could get from anything that I ate or drank. Tea was one of those things that I researched. It was something that fascinated me because I was already drinking it. So if I could find something that would tell me that tea was the right direction to go, or that there's something I could tweak in my tea ritual that would uh, somehow make my, my regimen already healthier, then I was all game. So I started with the research and I found that I had some misconceptions about tea and that there were some things that I needed to change. So I'm gonna to talk to you about those things that I changed tonight, which have made my tea ritual much healthier. Um, so what kind of detox are we talking about? Detox that I'm talking about are those ways that we tend to think that we can detoxify our body, that we are absorbing free radicals or creating free radicals in our body um, from the daily things that we do or eat in our life, right? Well, that kind of detox is oftentimes what the tea companies that you may have heard of uh, are gearing their marketing towards. There's other kinds of detox that we're not going to talk about tonight, and that has to do with alcohol and drug detox. That's a completely different subject. What we're talking about are those um, claims that you might hear that you'll be able to lose weight quicker or you'll be able to... Um, uh, somehow purge your body of things that are are welling up inside just from you know eating and, and daily routines. Well, I'm going to get to straight to it with the seven things that you can do to realistically change your life and realistically change what's going on in your body. Um, but just know that there's no quick fix. This is a lifestyle change. This is something you have to be committed to that you want to improve what's going on in your body and that you're going to pay attention to it. Um, there are lots of claims out there about oolong tea being a diet tea. There are ways you can replace things, and that's the first thing we're going to talk about. One of the easiest thing to do is to replace one of your unhealthy habits with a healthy habit, right? For me, when I was originally drinking tea, before I started a tea business, I was drinking tea, you know, the tea dust that you see the little particles in the tea bags, and I was steeping them in my cup of tea. I was leaving the tea bag inside, which is a big no-no because it's just gross. Um, it makes it really bitter. I was stuffing them, the tea, with fresh mint leaves, which I thought was super healthy, right? Well, guess what? That wasn't counteracting all the bad stuff I was doing because I was adding scoops of sugar into my tea. Well, that was counteracting everything. There was very little health benefits I was gaining, and anything I was gaining from that cup of tea, I was losing by putting all that sugar into it. So when I started making my own blends, I started looking for alternatives to sugar. And I could add things into my tea. You know, you can always add agave syrup or honey, um, some stevia into your tea. But what I found was my favorite way to sweeten my tea was licorice root. And licorice root, it doesn't taste like licorice. It naturally sweetens your tea. And it's something you can use dried licorice root in a blend. So for instance, I made Lucia, which is my peppermint tea go-to now. I have dried peppermint leaf in with some black tea blends, and then I add licorice root into it, and that creates this sweetened blend, and it saves me some time. I just throw the blend into my teacup, I pour some hot water over my brewer, and it's perfect. Um, that's just what I want. It's my, my go-to dessert supplement if I want something sweet. Or late at night, I'll have a Lola 
right? So that's some red rooibos, which is a South African plant, and it's mixed in with cinnamon and licorice root and some lavender flower, and it creates that nice sweet dessert. So you don't have to miss out on the desserts, right? That one simple way to create some change in your diet, to detox your diet, is to replace something like a candy bar or something sweet like a cookie with a cup of tea that's gonna be healthier for you without the sugar. Now, if you have to add sugar, like you just can't live without it, consider adding a little bit of cinnamon in whatever beverage you're making because the beverage will help counteract the sugar. It will help digest the sugar in your system. Just something to think about. So another obvious one that you might think about is uh, not adding milk to your tea. Now the Brits are gonna hate me for this because milk goes in all the tea, right? So you make a really like strong blend, like this is a really strong awesome blend and or an awesome tea. So, you know, you might be tempted to add some milk or cream to it because it cuts the flavor a little bit, right? Maybe it just, it's something that you enjoy. Consider that you might be adding calories unnecessarily in your diet. If you are trying to detox your diet, if you're trying to create a healthier lifestyle, it's the little things that count, right? So you want to keep track of all those things that you add into your diet, the sugar, the milk. Now, there are even some people who say that dairy is not something that we should be drinking at all, that dairy is uh, not something that our bodies can digest properly. I'm not willing to go that far because I love cheese and there's just no freaking way that you're going to get me to give up my cheese. So take it for what it's worth. But consider that you may want to cut some of the dairy out of your diet, especially if it's something that you add into tea. You can make tea just fine without it. All right. So we talked a little bit about sugar already, but that was number three is don't add a ton of sugar. Um, you're replacing your unhealthy you know, beverage or your unhealthy dessert with something that's sweet uh, and naturally sweetened, not something that you have to pour a lot of sugar in. That was something I cut out of my tea ritual. Is I don't use sugar at all anymore. Uh, you don't need it. It's, it. Once you start using natural sweeteners or once you start getting used to the natural flavors of tea, you're not necessarily going to want to you're not gonna want to take away from those delicious flavors because once you get into loose leaf teas, and that's one of the things we're gonna talk about tonight, you're not gonna want to disrupt those flavors because there's so many complex flavors and aromas that come from loose leaf tea, all the oils, Okay, y'all with me? All right. Once you start drinking all of the loose leaf teas, you're going to have the natural flavors come out and you're not gonna want to uh, disrupt those flavors with sugar. It's just, it's not gonna taste good to you. Um, so the next thing I wanna talk to you about is number four, which is don't drink tea dust. So remember when I was telling you I would drink uh, tea bagged tea and it was made out of that tea dust? I don't do that anymore. And the reason for that is because you get more of those natural oils, you get more of those natural compounds that you want in your body. Most of us who are interested in detoxification, are interested in health, we want to get more of those healthy antioxidants. We wanna get more of those good healthy things like ECGCs or amino acids, all of that good stuff, right? But the tea dust doesn't have as much of those. It's been evaporated into the air. It's been completely oxidized uh, in, because it's been made into tiny little pieces so that it brews faster. Well, what's the point of brewing something faster if you wanna get the health benefits out of it, right? You wanna get all those health benefits, you want to turn to partial or, loose or uh, full leaf teas, and then you can get all of that, all that good stuff. Plus, you're gonna be getting all of the delicious aromas and you're gonna be getting all of those oils and it's just more flavorful. You're gonna enjoy your tea ritual more. So that takes me to number five, which is create a tea ritual. Uh, creating a tea ritual is not hard, and it's, I think it's the most important part of creating a healthy lifestyle surrounding tea. I think that it's important to you know, really create something that's enjoyable. Hi, Shauna, how's it going? Hi, Ro. Uh, it's important to 
create that time for yourself. I mean, for instance, today was the day when just about everything could go wrong, right? So I had rides to give to friends. I had a toilet that overflowed. I had no lunch. I actually, this is the second time I am recording this Facebook live because the audio didn't work the first time. I mean, it was hilarious, right? So sometimes you just need to have a moment to yourself and you just need to sit there and breathe. And that was one of, this is one of those days when I am going to be, once I get off of this, I am going to embrace my tea ritual. Every morning I wake up and I go to my breakfast nook and I have a seat, I open my window, I sit with my cup of tea and I feel how warm the cup is and I take a breath in and I sip and I just sit there and I breathe and I just relax. That's it. I mean, that's five minutes a day. Do that and you will feel mentally better, healthier, and it is essential if you're trying to detox your life. One of the things that I read recently was a Harvard University study that studied eight weeks of people who had done eight weeks of meditation. And they had done 30 minutes a day, so I'm not going to say do 30 minutes a day. That is impossible for a lot of people. It's really hard to find that time, although I would argue if you can't find that time, it means that you should find that time. But you can get those same kinds of benefits just in five days. So the benefits the Harvard University kids saw were increased um, gray matter. So those are the parts of your brain that works for memory and learning. And who doesn't want more energy and life in those areas? And that was just from meditating for 30 minutes. Imagine doing this every day, just five to 10 minutes out of your morning, just to relax. Because it's the same thing as meditating. It's relaxing, it's putting your focus on your breath. Now at the end of this video, I'm gonna post a couple things in the comment section. And one of those is a blog that goes over these seven, uh, these seven ways to make your tea ritual healthier. And it's gonna go through a simple way to create a tea ritual for yourself make it something that's meaningful for you, something that you want to do every morning. Um, and then I'm also gonna post something that will uh, give you some background on the different teas so you can discover what kind of teas you most like. So I'll put a link for that too, it's totally free. Okay, a couple more things I wanna talk about. So number six, uh, to make your tea ritual healthier, add some lemon. lemon. So just a squeeze of lemon and the catechins, which are another type of antioxidant, are going to help you absorb the antioxidants in the tea that you're drinking. It's also going to help make your body more alkaline. So it was a little counterintuitive for me because I assume lemon would be more acidic, right? And our bodies seem to be more leaning more towards the acidic nowadays because we have so many proteins in our diets. We're eating so many things that aren't necessarily healthy, right? We have a lot of processed foods, that sort of thing in our diet. So our bodies are more acidic nowadays. But when you add little things into your body like lemon, it helps bring that range back into the alkaline limits, which is where we're supposed to be. And it, and it works because I've, you know, I've got those little alkaline um, what do they call them, those little strips? I've used them, they work. So <laughs> you, you might wanna check them out because when you do these little things, these little tweaks to your, your routines, your, I, I call it your diet, but it's really your routines. It's like, what kind of habits do you wanna create for yourself? And for me, I wanted to create healthier routines and these are the seven ways that I've been able to do that with my tea ritual. All right, so number seven, last but not least, is to avoid all those artificial and natural flavors that you might see in your tea. What I want you to do is at some point, open up your tea cabinet and see what's inside, all right? Probably most of it's good stuff, right? It's either organic or it's created using organic processes. Uh, I like to make that distinction because just because it doesn't have that organic sticker on the packaging, doesn't mean that the teas or the ingredients aren't made using organic processes, aren't grown using organic processes. All that means is that that small grower, for instance, couldn't afford to get the sticker to go onto their packaging. 
So that's why in some of my teas, I make sure that there are organic processes used, but I'm purchasing from small growers. So when I purchase from small growers, they're not necessarily going to be able to purchase that organic uh, sticker to put on their packaging. They're just too small to do that. They can't afford to do it. Um, and go ahead and, and when you go through and make sure that you're purchasing products that have all natural ingredients. If you don't know what it is, Google it. I mean, you know, you probably have a smartphone with you at the grocery store, right? And you look at the back of the packaging, find out what that, that ingredient is. Is it a natural product? Is it dried chamomile or dried orange peel? Something that you, you know, recognize right away? Or is it something else that you can't pronounce? So just, just keep your eyes open for that. Okay, so we've talked about the seven ways you can use tea to support a healthy lifestyle. A way that you can detox your routines, your life. And I want you to do a couple things now, okay? So first off, now that you've learned these ways to make your tea ritual healthier, I want you to like this video. I want you to, if you're on YouTube, to subscribe to this channel. And I want you to check out the links that I'm gonna post below, because I'm gonna post the one about this, um, this video that we've been talking about that goes through a tea ritual for you help you create a tea ritual. And then also there is a link so that you can learn more about teas and find out what kind of tea is good for you. What do you like? So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful night. Bye.